hello. Less than 24 hours after posting the dumpster story, God, as always, comes through with a curveball. And uh, today, one of my friends who I have known my entire life, who was the epitome of love and joy and laughter, uh, lost her battle to cancer. She was 34 years old. She was diagnosed two months ago with stage four cancer pretty much out of nowhere after not feeling well. Um, it was squamous cell carcinoma. There is no cure. And she was told basically to make final arrangements. She reached out to me immediately while mom was in hospice asking me to give it to her as blunt as possible and uh, tell her what to expect exactly or if there were any affairs that maybe she could not think of that I could help her with. And so um, today's read is dedicated to Brittany uh, and I have got my angel charm here, which was also given to my mother during her battle with cancer. I've got rose quartz to represent love, a candle for our angel. I have prayed and meditated and cleared my energy. This is a generalized reading. It will not resonate with everybody. Take what does and leave the rest. To all my warriors, my fearless women out there who no matter what, fight until their last breath. This is dedicated to you. May we know them. May we raise them. May we be them. Let's roll. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels for rising me up out of my bed this morning. And thank you for connecting me with the beautiful person on the other side of this video. I ask that you bring forth messages that are true, correct, and for their greatest and highest abundance and spiritual development. I will not be taking reversals. Show me what I need to see. All 12 zodiac signs will be posted for August. I'm trying, y'all. I'm running behind a little bit. I have not forgotten about you. How about the lovers? You want to talk about the love? Let's talk about the love because that's exactly what's coming through. Everybody's expressing their love. Knight of Wands, coming your way. There's something about creative processes being implemented to release burdens. I just heard when doves cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, King of Swords. Coming in with truth big time and stepping out of some serious anxiety. Why? Because you have been meditating, my friend. If you are not experiencing this energy, you will be shortly. It's coming towards you and it's coming in quick. Why? Because that's why. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Coins, Queen of Love, Nurturing, Stability. All right? There's something about a motherly energy really coming in to comfort and show peace and guidance for you right now. <sighs> Again, I'm hearing, I heard when doves cry, there's something about purity, peace, serenity coming in. Swords, please. What is this anxiety about? What do we need to know about this anxiety and where it's coming from? Right there. Being brave. Whatever it is that you've been really battling, 
with serious anxiety keeping you up at night, you are braving the storm, my friend. Let's talk about this. This man is fighting off every type of hatred, uh, ill will, ill intent coming their way. They're an expert at it. They've become an expert at it because they've gotten in so much practice, unfortunately. Uh, but that's life, right? That's how it works. Mm, I just got a big whiff of roses. I'm not gonna crack. Okay. <clears throat> just heard on the illest what the fountain stop stop it if y'all know anything about this deck let me tell you about this deck this deck is called the fountain tarot there is only one card of its kind in this deck this card represents the soul of the world other worldly things you cannot see After I just smelled roses, anyone who knows uh, what that represents, that represents a passed on loved one. I do not have anything that would smell like that in this room right now, other than a unscented white candle. Okay. Tell me about the fountain. You know what? No, hold on. I'm going to read that for you guys. I am literally going to read that. I want you to hear what this card means. You ready? This is after smelling roses. Pay attention. Our interconnectedness on this planet has never been more clear. Technology has given us near limitless access to knowledge more now than we possibly could comprehend. This has illuminated the interweaving and singular consciousness that sages, shamans, and witches have embodied for thousands of years. Don't get it twisted. We don't do black magic on this channel, okay? The fountain card is the eternal context beyond human experience in which anything and everything can happen. Though tarot cannot have anticipated this burgeoning connection and awareness, it now begs for its expression. The fountain card represents this expression. Like the fool, it exists outside of the 21 of the major arcana. Beyond the cycles of the earthly world, it reflects both solidarity experience and timeless unity. It is the ether in which we navigate our imperfect lives and the substance of itself. I don't know why, but I'm seeing a duck, like a yellow baby duck. The candle just blew out. Could have been for my cards shuffling. If that wasn't the third time, it's done it since I almost started recording. Okay? Because there was no cards being shuffled at that time either. And hello, Page of Swords, communication coming in. Somebody's getting an apology. Somebody wants to extend an apology. There's an apology big time that someone wants to offer up in some type of capacity. And it's coming in hot. Eight of Wands, forward movement. Train tracks headed towards an island filled with sun rays afterwards. This is happy news. You are wanting to hear this apology or extend it to clear the air and to move things in the right direction. Tell me about this apology. What's this apology going to be about? Queen of Cups, motherly energy again. We now have two queens on the table here. Uh, and we also had the Knight of Swords pop out, which is again, forward movement and communication. This could be a text, a letter. Uh, I am not feeling face to face on this. I'm not feeling face to face. This is going to be a text, a letter, a card, something to that magnitude. And it's involving some type of could be a potential water sign, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you yourself are embodying these energies, which means very emotional and very grounded at the same time. This is smart EQ, okay? This is controlled emotions. 
Isn't that sexy? And it's so sexy when someone can control their emotions. Ooh. Okay, you go, girl. Yes. Uh, tell me more. What do we need to see? Tell me about this apology. What's it about? What's this apology about? Healing, restoration, justice being served. That's what the apology is about. And it's going to bring in a brand new start to love of some type of fashion. I am not picking up a love uh, this is, this is not a, a lover type of situation. I am not picking up this energy at all. And then we also had the hero font fall out as well. This is spirituality 101. This is the God card. This is, um, karmic justice being delivered in a brand new fashion. Uh, in a way that you have never expressed it or had it expressed to you from someone you really care about. And again, it's been that motherly energy. It's it's something about finally embracing that energy. And even if you're a male and you're watching this, uh, we have equal amounts of feminine and masculine energy. And a lot of people have a very hard time harnessing and balancing those two energies. So this, 11, 11 on the clock. <laughs> oh, that was a 40 inch slip almost. Oh God, I hope I don't have to edit that. <laughs> My face is getting so red. Brittany would be dying right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, yeah, karmic justice here is being served and, uh, <laughs> that's funny. I'm sorry that that's funny. Um, I'm hearing eight o'clock, like sitting at my eight o'clock. Sitting at my eight, why do you, I don't know. I don't know where that message is. Sitting at my eight o'clock. This may happen at a restaurant or like a, a public space. You're going to receive it while you're sitting in a public space. It's, it's going to come when you're not expecting it. There's something about that delivery. I don't know. It may not be for everybody. Tell me what, stop. I was going to say, tell me what you don't see. And that's the wheel of fortune. Karma is turning in your favor with this apology coming through, or you finally balancing the scales by delivering the apology. This is beautiful. So we're going to, I'm going to switch decks. I'm going to switch decks a little bit here. What energy is coming behind this apology? Stop it. The heart. Did you see that? I can't make this up. It's coming from the heart. So when you get this apology or when you're ready to extend, it will be from the heart or it needs to be from the heart. Do you understand that? Tell me more. Did I not just tell you about my candle blowing out? Okay. The flame. This is a uh, very warm, eternal, internal type of uh, offering of love, expression of love. There is something about what is about whatever apology is coming through, whether it's a give or take situation, it is going to literally warm you up inside when you read it, there will be a chemical reaction and alchemy of some type. It's literally going to warm you up from the inside, especially if you've been a little bit of an ice queen or ice king in some capacity. So, uh, yeah, there's a shaman card. There we go. This is a, this is a spiritual connection. This apology, this person that you have in mind or that will be coming towards you, or you going towards them, this relationship that you have with this person could be family member, a friend, a colleague, something like that. There, there is a heavy spiritual connection here. You two can read each other without even having to speak. And whatever has happened, it's something that was very traumatic. It, it literally put a stop to the relationship because this fell out underneath the shaman. What the, it put a halt on the relationship. It was like the energy literally stopped, which that's not, that's not very common. Uh, 
<sighs> Tell me more. No. I'm hearing, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. It's all right. Whatever happened with the dead end, whatever stopped this relationship at some point in time, it was over some type of competition. Whether that was a competitive nature between you and this person, uh, it could be something like a child's game. Your kids played together and you got in a huge fight over the game or a game of some type, a competition of some type was involved. Could have even been a competition at work, could have been, uh, I don't know, there, an award that went to somebody else. I, I don't know, there's something about. The person receiving, I'll put it this way, the person that is receiving the apology felt like they were prey. but it's time for a new start. This has been cooking for a minute. This apology has been cooking for a long time and it's been a long time coming, okay? It's time to be born. It's time for that apology to come forward, okay? And again, I wanna, I wanna point something out here. Look at the, the warm colors, okay? And how well that matches with the heart versus this type of mysterious energy being completely dark. There's so it's like like I said, it's a cal, it's an alchemy balancing out. What don't you see coming? There's something about your instincts being tested. Look at the spiritual meaning for duck. I keep getting an image of a duck in my head. I, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, okay, look, your guys' energy is heading straight for each other. These are rocket ships headed straight for each other. And it's in alignment because it's it's divine timing. It's It's time for this apology to come forth to heal the relationship. Yeah. The sort of truth, it's going to be delivered. That, that communication is going to be so on point and healing, it's not even funny. Final messages. There you go. The sun. What was I singing earlier? Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. And an end to conflict. It's, it's count, canceling out. We also have the world that popped as well. This is, if you notice, it's a 10. Cycles are completing. The apology is delivered and immediately is when a new cycle starts. So I'm not sure who that message was for. Uh, I hope that it resonated in some type of capacity. If it did, please leave me a comment. I appreciate all of your love and support. The last 24 hours have been... Insane as always, uh, and I prefer it that way because you only get, uh, you know, so many opportunities to put your truth out there. And I also want to suggest, uh, link is below. Um, my niece surprised me. She had no clue what the relevance of yesterday was, but surprised me at 14 years old with her very first business venture with merchandise about loving yourself. How appropriate. And I am so proud of her. Her link is below. Uh, check it out if you'd like to check out some of her products. Uh, for any questions, I am taking personal readings. Please feel free to email me. Don't forget to share and subscribe to anyone who you think could truly benefit from these messages. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brittany, for being in our lives. 
to your daughters, we are praying for you, and to your family, we are praying for you. Thank you so much. All my love.